My name is Shadrach Kisame, and you're logged on to the continent's leading intellectual platform. I tell you, the highest platform in sort of solution finding, the desk. Now, this is a discussion that is always worth hearing. This is a show that we are certainly and absolutely sure is going to impact the entire overview of the political, the social, and above all, the economic atmosphere of this country and the East African region as a whole. Now, more than ever, again, I'm yours truly, Shadrach Shagaf Kisame. Now, tonight, ladies and gentlemen, is an exclusive. We are dealing with matters of the heart matters of the spirit it is somewhat a very social episode tonight my guest ladies and gentlemen i tell you as the whole globe is actually going around with the nightmare of the pandemic the coronavirus the only solution has turned out to be god and the spirit so tonight ladies and gentlemen we are centering our focal point on spiritual matters to help us harness and fight the covid 19 and also these financial issues that are going on with the world. But tonight, ladies and gentlemen, my guests, they actually tell me, before we went on to the show, they were telling me and assuring me Jesus is black. They are more Old Testament people. They actually grow their beard. They say it is biblical and it is scripture. Ladies and gentlemen, my guests tonight, they are from Israel United in Christ. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Malachi Israel and Mr. Asaf Israel. We are in coronavirus, so we, <laughs> we do this. I, I always like to greet my, my guests, but let's just do that. Yes, right. Malachi, welcome to the show. Uh, oh, praises. Thanks very much. I'm called Malachi, is Officer Malachi Israel from Israel United in Christ. Um, uh, we are here to tell you about the Bible. Okay, what you said earlier that um, we are more of Old Testament, uh, first we use the all Bible, the entire Bible. Okay. okay. No, not only Old Testament. Okay. You know, so as we are going to see according to the Bible. All right. All right, yes, sir. Okay, sir. Okay. Okay. So let's, let's just dive into it. Um, my youths down there, they've never heard of Israel United. Maybe in just one minute, what is Israel United in Christ about? Okay. Uh, Israel United in Christ, it's uh, an organization. Um, we go, like, uh, we have our leader called Bishop Nathaniel. Uh, our aim or our target is to awaken the true Israelite according to the Bible. The blacks, Hispanics, and the native Indians. We are the true children of Israel. The black? Yes, sir. The Spanish? Hispanics. Hispanics. Yes, sir. And? Native Americans, which we call uh, native Indians, the red Indians. The, the red Indians? Yes. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. So that is our target. Those are the true children of Israel. Those people in Israel right now, mm. those are not the biblical Israelites, as we are going to see according to the Bible. Wow. Now, if you're watching, I tell you, you better sit back, relax, better yet lean forward or stand up because the desk is getting heated up and heated up. Remember, if it's Wednesday, it's all about the desk. Let's dive into it. Okay. Show me into scripture yes, sir. why you say only these three people are the true Israelites and the ones occupying are not. Okay. As the, okay, let us use the Bible because uh, in churches, or let me say in Christianity, they always tell us that those people in Israel, they are the true Israelites. Mm -hmm. But when you read the Bible, the Bible identifies where the true Israelites are. Let, let, us, go, let us go through the scriptures. Is this, I, actually, before you continue, this is not like the, is it, is it the, the normal Bible we have? This like, is the King James Version. The real one. Because the I'm, real King James I Version. I've never seen this. this it actually says the 12. To the, yeah, 12. To the 12. Of course, the Bible is for only Israelites. Wow. It's only for us. Sounds good. Yeah. Not for other nations, but only for the 12 tribes of Israel. Okay. Let me first prove that. Okay. Before we go there, first give me John chapter 8, verse 32. Let me show you according to the Bible. Okay. This is the book of John. Raise chapter your voice. 8, verse 32. Come on. And ye shall know the truth. So the Bible says, and ye shall know the truth. Come on. And the truth shall make you free. So, if we know the truth, we're going to be set free. Okay. Now, give me James 1, 1. Because, uh, as I told you earlier, this Bible is only for the nation of Israel. Okay. The 12 tribes of Israel. Okay. Come on. James chapter 1 verse 1. Come on. James, a servant of God uh -huh. and of the Lord Jesus Christ mm -hmm. to the 12 tribes. To the who? To the 12, 12 tribes. So the Bible is only for the 12 tribes of Israel. Come on. Which are scattered abroad. See, the Israel, the real Israelites are scattered abroad. Mm -hmm. They're not in Israel right now. Mm -hmm. Some, some, but the majority of our people are scattered abroad. Okay. As we're going to see in the Bible. Okay. Come on. Greetings. That's it. Now let's go to the, because you said, let me show you how mm. we are the true Israelites. Okay. Let's go in the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 1. 
Because you said, now, for us, we use the old Bible, yes, not yes, only Old Testament. You've actually old, proven it. Of course. Mm. Let, us go, let us go through the, the scriptures. Come on. This is the book of Deuteronomy. Start from verse 1. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 1. Uh -huh. And it shall come to pass, mm. if thou shalt hearken diligently unto the voice of the Lord thy so, God. So, this is the Most High speaking to Moses to speak to the children of Israel. Mm -hmm. If mm -hmm. we hearken and listen to the voice of the Lord our God, come on. To observe and to do all his commandments. So, it's all about doing his commandments. Yes, sir. Which today in Christianity they say we are done away with. Yes, sir. But only, for, for them, they only... The, uh, the law they want them of giving tithe. Okay. But other laws to them are done away they with. They don't but, apply. But only tithe, they apply only that law. You know, you just said something. <laughs> so the only law that is still relevant till death is pay tithe. In Christianity. In Christianity is yes. pay tithe. Is it because um, the pastors get something? I'll show you according to the Bible. <laughs> the Bible. You know, you remember what we read earlier in John chapter 8, verse 32. Yes, sir. You shall know the truth, and the truth will set you free. Exactly. So it's all about knowing the truth. The truth is the word of God. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Continue. Come on. To observe and to do all his commandments, uh -huh. which I command thee this day. Come on. That the Lord thy God will set thee on high above all the nations of the See, earth. The Most High told us if we do his word, mm -hmm. he will set us high above all the nations of the earth mm -hmm. this shows that the bible is only for one nation right the nation of israel right but we know that israel never did the laws of the most high right are we, are we together on that you're teaching me sir i'm i'm, I'm, I'm a businessman so okay you're me. let's jump to verse 15 straight to the point because you have little time this is the book of deuteronomy chapter 28 verse 15. so i'm going to show you that this bible is for us we are the true israelites yes sir come on but it shall come to pass so this is a picture tense when moses is uh, telling us that it shall come to pass come on if thou will not hearken unto the voice of the lord thy if, god. if you refuse to listen to the voice of the lord you know focus even there's another part here that i want to talk about mm. you know in uh, in christianity pastors always say as I was driving, I had the voice of God. Mm -hmm. As I was in the shower, I had the voice of God. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. As I was walking around, I had the voice of God. Mm. That's a lie. The voice of God is the word. Oh, wow. Read that verse again. But it shall come to pass. Come on. If thou will not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. See? If you not hearken unto the voice, this is the We're going to see what the Most High told us. So His let me, voice. Malachi, let me get this straight. Yes, sir. I cannot be driving in my car and I'm praying and I listen to God. It has to be strictly through his word. I'm going to show you. The word is the voice of God. Nothing. You cannot hear him whatsoever. Nothing. The Most High speaks in this word. Oh, okay. In this, in his, the Bible. Mm -hmm. Nothing else that as I was in the shower. That's not biblical. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Remember, those whites, I, I, I'm going to talk about those people. Mm. They brainwashed us. So we want, everything we do want to be like them. But we are going to see what the Most High commanded us to do. Okay. As you're winding up on that, you're, you're taking me to something that is very important. Because when let, you let said, me first finish this when you show said you. whites, yes, sir. After the break, uh -huh. I want us to dwell more deep into this. Is this more of a racism thing, or after the break, just continue with that one? Because <laughs> I'm going to show you. I'm going. This is the Bible. Okay, the Bible. Because uh -huh. these are not my words. Uh -huh. Let me let me hope even the viewers they have the same Bible that I have. Uh -huh. It's because in uh, in their churches, their pastors always tell them, always tell them don't read the Old Testament. But if you read this, mm. you're going to see new things. Okay. Finish that verse. Come on. To observe, to do all his commandments uh -huh. and his statutes, which I command thee this day. Come on. That all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. We know that the Israelites never did the laws of the Mosai. That means yes, these sir. curses had to come upon them. Yes, sir. Now, let us see some of the curses. Mm. If they fit those people in Israel or if if the curses fits us today okay let, jump let, down. Let, uh, yeah let's see the curses as we go jump down to, to verse 32. this is the book of deuteronomy chapter 28 verse 32. Uh -huh. thy sons and thy daughters so one of the punishment for not doing god's laws our sons and our daughters come on shall be given unto another people hope you know about this history yes sir when they are taking slaves from here to to other nations right yes sir. come on and thine eyes shall look and fail with longing for them all the day long. So our eyes look when they're taking our people into slavery, but we had nothing to do. Come on. And there shall be no might in thine We had no might and might to, to redeem them back. Okay. So this, this verse shows that we are the true Israelites. Oh, wow. Next oh. verse. Come on. Verse 33. Uh -huh. The fruit of thy land. The Bible says the fruit of your land, you Israelites. Come on. And all thy labors. And all our labors. Shall a nation which thou knowest not eat up. Uh -huh. And thou shalt be only oppressed and crushed always. Now, 
Let me give an example here in Uganda. Mm -hmm. We have very many riches. Let me say uh, we have oil, we have gold, we have very many. Uh, how how can I call? It? We have very many riches here, mm -hmm. but mm -hmm. we are not benefiting from them. Absolutely. Who benefits from them? Um, who benefits from them? Yes. The whites. The, of course, the whites. But it's biblical here. The most high prophet. You know, Moses gave told us about these things. Some years, years two thousand years ago. Yes, yes. But ago. things we see them even they're happening right now. All right. Those nations are benefiting from all our resources. Okay. What am I reading? The Bible. If I read this, people say that you am a racist. I'm not a racist. The Bible says so. I don't want to actually uh, seem racist, but this is what you're telling me. This is what the Bible is telling that's us. That's right. That's right. That this one was actually prophesied by the prophet Moses thousands and thousands of years ago yes, that we will, we will be taken into slavery right. and this played out later and actually up to now some people are still enslaved in their minds That's you right. want to enlighten us on that yes yes uh before before i uh, conclude on that let, let me first finish these uh, verses which yes, talks sir. about us yes, because sir. these verses are more important yes sir let's turn the same book the book of Deuteronomy chapter 28 uh jump down to verse 41 this is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 41. Yes, sir. Thou shalt beget sons. So here, the, this is Moses speak, still speaking to the Israelites. Mm -hmm. We shall beget sons, come on. And daughters, uh -huh. but thou shalt not enjoy them, uh -huh. for they shall go into captivity. We see things are still happening today. Those people who are going in those Arab countries, that's slavery. Hope you, uh, you, know, um, you know about that, right? Malaka, you see... On this desk, I have um, entrepreneurs who deal in businesses of taking people abroad and they yes. come and they preach to those people you're talking to and they tell them this is the next big thing for Uganda. It doesn't uh, matter whether you're qualified or not, just go and make that 500,000 or 1 million a month but, but and you're that, trying to badmouth it. How bad is that? That's a modern day slavery. Okay. Our people are suffering, you know. We see videos on that, right? Mm -hmm. When yes. the, uh, uh, the daughters are suffering, men are suffering, because it's biblical, it was prophesied. Mm. Next verse, uh, jump down to verse 43. Verse 43, uh -huh. the stranger that is within thee. So the Bible says the stranger that is within us, come on. Shall get up above thee very high. Come on. And thou shalt come down very low. We see that, the strangers, mm. when the whites come here, the Chinese, mm -hmm. they're high above us. Mm -hmm. They can start businesses when no one talks about them. Mm -hmm. They can do anything they want, mm -hmm. but us, the natives of, of this land, mm. we are very low. Absolutely. This is biblical. What yeah. am I reading? I'm reading the Bible. Okay. The, the Bible is telling us that, but do you want to believe maybe some, what someone else out there is believing, that they are more efficient, the whites are more sharp, they are more professional? That's what they told us. That's what we come into slavery. Okay. Uh, in fact, let me first read this, then I'll, we are going to talk about those whites. Okay. Jump down to verse 48 to save time. Verse, Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 48. Uh -huh. Therefore shalt thou serve thine enemy. Now, here, this is the biggest part in the Bible. Mm -hmm. Moses is telling us, he got the words from the Most High, that we Israelites, mm -hmm. we shall serve our enemies, not friends, but our enemies, come on. Which the Lord shall send against thee. It is the Most High who sent those people against us. Who sent the British here? Read the verse again. Therefore shall thou serve thine enemies, uh -huh. which the Lord shall send against thee. It is the Most High God who sent them. The the whites, the Chinese, the Japanese. He's the, he's the most high who said Why did them. he do this to us? I'm going to show you because we broke his commandments. Ah, okay. I'm going to show you some of the commandments that we are breaking even today. Okay. Come on, finish that verse. In hunger. If you want food, you serve your enemy. And in thirst. If you want water, you viewers over there, you serve your enemy. Come on. And in nakedness. The clothing we are putting on. Mm -hmm. This suit, mm -hmm. when you look at the tag, mm -hmm. it's not made here in Uganda. Made yeah. in Italy, UK, mm -hmm. US. Mm -hmm. Even if you want anything to put on, you serve your enemy. Come on. And in want of all things. Anything you want. Let me give an example. Mm -hmm. The education system today. Yes, sir. Where, where does it come from? From, from Britain. From Britain. Mm -hmm. Anything we want, we have to serve our enemies. Come on. And he shall put a yoke of iron. And your, our enemy, he shall put the yoke of iron upon thy neck. You know about that history? Yes. They put yes. the yokes of iron upon our necks. Come on. Until he have destroyed thee. Until we are destroyed. Now, if I ask you now, who mm. are you according to the Bible? Your pastor tells you, we are Gentiles. We are just grafted in. Mm. No, we are the royal people of the book. The Bible is a black man's book. This is our history. Black man. This is a black man's book. This is our history. Even in um, 
uh, in schools mm -hmm. we never said about this mm -hmm. in the school we said about the history of france uh britain you said about uh, in geography uh tennessee, tennessee yeah. valley that's so you... so are you t because you're making me lose my identity right now i'm not uganda i'm an israel of course originally we are, we are israelites i'm going to show you how do we how are we here in uganda mm -hmm. even christ talked about this Show then, me, show me that one. How I end up in Uganda? I'm from Israel. Okay, let me show this. Mm -hmm. Yeah, verse sixty-eight. Then you give me Luke twenty-one. This is the book of. Because uh, people say we say now they are stuck in the Old Testament. No, even in the New Testament, Christ talked about that. Okay, come let's on. see that. Let's see that. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter twenty-eight, verse sixty-eight. Uh huh. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with sheep. Now, after all that, the Most High would take you back. Mm -hmm. Remember, by this time we are from Egypt. Our forefathers were from Egypt mm -hmm. going to Canaan land. Mm -hmm. But here God said, I'll bring you back to Egypt again. Mm -hmm. What does the word Egypt mean? Give me that. This is the book of Deuteronomy chapter 5 verse 6. This is the meaning of the word Egypt. Come mm -hmm. on. I am the Lord thy God, uh -huh. which have brought thee out of the land of Egypt. Come on. From the house of bondage. So the word Egypt means house of bondage. Okay. Now let's go back to uh, Deuteronomy 28 verse 68. This is the book of Deuteronomy chapter 28 verse 68. Come on. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. And the ships. Lord will take you back to house of bondage. But this time around, even he's giving us the transport that those enemies will use. Mm -hmm. Now mm -hmm. let me ask you a question. Mm -hmm. When those whites came here in Africa, mm. which type of transport they used to take our forefathers there? Um, they, they sailed on the water. Though. That's it. This is water transport. This is what the Most High told as the Bible says, mm, mm. read, by the way whereof I speak unto the thee, same way the Bible uh, the same way Moses spoke to us. Come on, thou shalt see it no more again. We never saw our homeland Israel again. Have you ever gone to Israel? I've never gone to Israel. I even didn't know I was from Israel. See, this is what the Bible says: we will never see our homeland Israel again. Come on, and there ye shall be. Sold. Once you get off those ships, you shall be sold uh -huh. unto your enemies, unto your friends, unto your enemies. And the Bible calls them enemies. Come on, for born men, for slave men, and born women, and slave women. And no man shall buy you. The word buy means and no one shall redeem you. We had some people who tried to fight, like we had Nelson Mandela, mm -hmm. Kwame Nkrumah. Mm -hmm. We had Idi Amin. Mm -hmm. We had... Uh, so are those people sp sc uh, scripturally right? They tried, but the Bible says no one will redeem you. Only one man can redeem us. So according to uh, Israel United, those, are, those guys who tried are, are heroes? Yes, they were. They were. They, they tried to do so, but the Bible says no one. These men, mm. no one can do that, but only one man. Mm. That is Christ, the black Messiah. Let me prove that. Luke chapter 1. Then after we go to Luke uh, uh, 21. Christ, the black Messiah. Yeah, I'm going to show that Christ is black according to the Bible. Let me show the purpose of Christ. Because okay. some people say Christ came to redeem the whole world. Okay. No. Okay. This is the purpose. Luke 1, 68. This is the book of Luke chapter 1, verse 68. New Testament now. Uh -huh. Blessed be the Lord God of Israel. The God of all world. God of Israel. Israel. God is the God of Israel okay. only. Come on. For he has visited and redeemed his people. See, Christ came to redeem his people. Come on. And has raised up an horn of salvation for us uh -huh. in the house of his servant David. Come on. As he spake by the mouth of his holy prophets, uh -huh. which have been since the world began. Verse 71, this is the point. Uh -huh. That we should be saved. That we, Israelites, should be saved mm -hmm. from what? From our enemies. From our enemies, come on. And from the hand of all that hate us. And from the hand of all that hate us. Who hated us? The white man. That's why they see, they are always planning something against us. When you look at these pills that are women to get bombs, mm. uh, fake hairs, it's all our enemies who plan that. Is that, that a conspiracy, us. That, uh, an international conspiracy that people are saying the white... As we go in a short break, um, it's like a conspiracy where people are saying the whites are against us, the immunization, the, you know, and That's all it. those things. That's all their plans. You see? How true is that and how spiritual, scripture is that? Okay. okay, let's just go straight to the point. Give me Psalms 83 verse 1. Because everything we say, we use the Bible. Okay. Okay. This is the book of Psalms, chapter 83, verse 1. Come on. Keep not thou silence, O God. Uh -huh. Hold not thy peace, and be not still, O God. Come on, verse 2. For lo, thine enemies. This is the point. For lo, thine enemies. Come on. Make a tumult. A tumult is a plan. Come on. And they that have hated thee. So we saw this in the book of Luke, Luke 168. Ali, yes. yes. Those that hate thee. Come on. Mm -hmm. 
And they that hate thee have li lifted up the head. Come on. They have taken crafty counsel against thy people. See, they have taken a crafty counsel, mm -hmm. a wicked counsel against thy people as Israelites. Come on. Mm -hmm. And consulted against thy hidden ones. We are the hidden ones of the Most High. Come on. They have said. The enemies have said. Uh -huh. Come and let us cut them off from being a nation. See, they have said, come, let us cut them off from being a nation. Yes, How? Sir. You know about uh, the Bible conference? Yes. They had a plan. Come on. That the name of Israel may be no more in remembrance. When they colonized us, they separated us. They said, this is Uganda, this is Kenya, this is Tanzania. All those places, mm -hmm. they are full of Israelites. Wow. But when they, when they did that, they said, now we are not Israelites. Mm -hmm. They gave us names. You are going to be a Christian. You are going to be a Muslim. You are going to... Even they gave us these political parties. We learned that from them. It, That's goes, how... it goes as far as political parties? Of course, of course. I'll show you that. Come on. For they have consulted together with one concept. So they came, uh, they called Berlin Conference, mm -hmm. that meeting. Was it in 14... Uh, no. I don't remember the year, but... Uh, in the 1400s. The, yes. But they had a plan. They sat down and said, no, let us make a plan. Come on. They are confederate against thee. So they had a plan. They came together, like mm -hmm. Europe, mm -hmm. and they said, British, you're going to take this. Mm -hmm. German, this. Mm -hmm. Portugal, this. Mm -hmm. they, they, know, they took all uh, our things from us. What we believed in, the way we dressed, everything, they took that from us. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, this is to show you. Okay, read verse 6. Uh -huh. Verse 6, uh -huh. the tabernacles of Edom. Now, they changed all this. Today, when we read about the word Edom, you say, who is Edom? Mm -hmm. Let me ask you, are you a Christian? Yes, I'm a Christian. Now, let me ask you, who is Edom? I don't know. Who you is. don't know, see? Yes. But Edom is a white man. Ah. They are called Edomites. Ah. So they changed everything and they say, you know what? Let us change this. Come on. And the Ishmaelites. Who are the Ishmaelites? The so-called Arabs. Come on. Of Moab. Moab. Who are the Moabites? The Chinese. The Chinese. Ah, the Chinese are the Moabites. Yes, sir. Come on. Okay. And the Hagarines. Come on. Gabal uh -huh. and Ammon. Ammon are the uh, Japanese. And Amalek. Amalek. These are the modern, even the modern day Jewish people. Ah, uh, the Amalekites. Those are the Amalekites. They are called themselves Jewish, not Jews. They wish to be Jews. <laughs> yes, the word ish means. Jewish. Yes, they, they wish, wish to, be, to be Jews. But they are not the real Jews. <laughs> uh huh, come on. The Philistines uh -huh. with the inhabitants of Tyre. Now, Let's go to, because remember we talked about the color of Christ. Yes. Because we have little time. Let's go straight to the point. Mm. Uh, let's go to the book of Revelation. Then we are going to talk about those fake Jews. Even Christ talked about them. Come on. This is the book of Revelation, chapter 1, verse 1. Uh -huh. The revelation of Jesus Christ. The word revealing, the word revelation means to reveal. Mm -hmm. The revealing of Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. You know, we've been having this white image and no one says, color doesn't matter. But when we bring up the scripture, they say, Color doesn't matter, but we, we've been having this image of white Jesus. Mm -hmm. No one was complaining. Oh, that's Jesus. Mm -hmm. Like women in church today, when they dream of Jesus, they see that guy. That guy is called Caesar Borgia. Yes, yes. He was yes. the son of uh, Alexander Borgia, the Pope of Rome. Oh, okay. Yes, you know the history. Yes, yes. That's why they say if you want to hide from a black man, Put get a pen writing. and a paper and write it down. But now we can read. Now we can read. Of Sounds course. Good. Yes. Come on. Which God gave unto him uh -huh. to show unto his servant things which must shortly come to pass. Come on. And he sent and signified it by his angel unto his servant. Jump down to verse 10. Huh? Verse 10. Uh -huh. I was in the spirit on the Lord's day. So this is during the revelator. He was in the spirit on the Lord's day. Come on. And heard behind me a great voice uh -huh. as of a trumpet. Come on. Saying, I am Alpha and Omega. We know who is Alpha and Omega. That's the Lord. That's Jesus Christ. Okay. He's the Alpha and the Omega. Come on. Okay. The first and the last. Come on. And what thou seest. So Jesus told John, everything you see, do what? Write in a book. Which book? The Bible. The Bible. Everything you see, write it in the Bible. Come on. And send it unto the seven churches. Jump down to verse 12. Come on, huh? Verse 12. Uh -huh. And I turned to see the voice that spake with so, me. So John turned to see the voice that spake with him. Let us see what he saw. Come on. And being turned, uh -huh. I saw seven golden candlesticks. So the first thing John saw, he saw seven golden candlesticks. This is the seven golden candlesticks. Okay. A menorah. Okay. This is the seven golden candlesticks. Come on. And in the midst of the seven candlesticks. And in the middle of the seven golden candlesticks. Uh -huh. One like unto the Son of Man. Who is the Son of Man? Jesus. Jesus the Christ. Come on. Uh-huh. Clothed with a garment down to the foot. So he saw Christ putting on a garment down to the foot. Come on. And a guard about the paps with a golden guard. So he had a golden guard around his waist. Come on. Mm -hmm. Verse 14 this is the point. His head and his hairs. So John is describing Christ. Yes. The head and the hairs 
the head on all his hairs on the beard. Come on. We are white like wool. We are white like, like wool. wool. Okay. Wool is not a color. Wool is a texture. Yes. White is color. Come on. As white as snow. Fully white. Okay. Uh-huh. And his eyes were as a flame of fire. Cross his eyes were, were as flames of fire. Why? Because he drank wine in moderation. When you read, when you read Genesis 49 verse 12, mm -hmm. that's the precept, our viewers. If you want to see that, Genesis 49 verse 12, the reason why his eyes were as a flame of fire. Mm -hmm. Verse 15. Uh -huh. And his feet. Now this time around, John looked at the feet of Christ. Come on. Mm -hmm. Like unto fine brass. We are like unto fine brass. Brass is brown. Yes. Now your color, your brass. Come on. As if they burned in a furnace. So when you burn that brass in a furnace, you get dark black. Dark black. This is Christ. If your feet are black, that means even your face is black. Christ was a black man. Wow. <laughs> I tell you, I tell you, these men are not yet to stop. Of course. Now, let me show you, because Christ came from the, from the tribe of Judah. Mm -hmm. Let me show you, even the real Jews are black. Mm -hmm. Give me Jeremiah 14, verse 2. Yeah, as, as we wind up, because yes, our time is really, really well spent. Then after I talk about those Amalekites in, in Israel, mm. Jeremiah 14, verse 2, because Christ came from the tribe of Judah. Let us see those people, how do they look in the Bible? Come on. This is the book of Jeremiah, chapter 14, verse 2. Uh -huh. Judah mourneth. So Judah mourneth, come on. And the gates there of languish. Their leaders are crying, come on. They are black. The, Jew, the Jews are what? They are black. The real Jews are black. Uh -huh. And to the ground. Uh -huh. And the cry of Jerusalem is gone up. Now, let me show you one, one scripture that talks about color. That the real Israels are black. Mm -hmm. Song of Solomon, chapter 1, verse 5. So we just confirm they are black. Of course. Now, let me give you another one. Then I'll, I'll talk on the last verse about the Amalekites. Okay. Song, song of Solomon, chapter 1, verse 5. Straight to the point. This is the songs of Solomon, chapter 1, verse 5. Uh -huh. I am black. King Solomon. You know King Solomon. Mm -hmm. He's saying what? I am black. He's saying, I am black, uh -huh. but calmly. Calmly means handsome. Mm -hmm. That's why we get the saying, black is beauty. beauty. Okay. From Solomon, come on. O ye daughters of Jerusalem, uh -huh. as the tents of Kedar, uh -huh. as the curtains of Solomon, come on. look not upon me because I am black. That is King Solomon. Now, as we wind up, let me talk about those Jews, those Jewish people. They're not Jews, Jewish Wish people. King yeah. Solomon was black. Oh, Christ wow. was a black man. David, Adam, all those people, Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, they were all black. They were all black. Because we have little time, I would have showed you where the whites came from, their okay. origin. Okay. Yeah, but maybe we, maybe we would get it some, some other time. Or if, praises, if, or praises. If, if the let's Lord allows. The of, uh, let's go to the book of Revelation, chapter 2, verse 9. This is the book of Revelation, chapter 2, verse 9. Uh -huh. I know thy works. So this is Christ still speaking to the Israelites. He knows our works. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. And tribulation. Right now we are in tribulation right now. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. And poverty. We are poor. Mm -hmm. The real Jews right now are poor because we are scattered all over the world. Come on. But thou art rich. We are rich. How? Because all the promises of the Bible belongs to us. Mm -hmm. Christ came for us. The new covenant is for us. And the old covenant, all the Bible belongs to us. Come on. And I know the blasphemy of them. So this is Christ saying, and I know the blasphemy of them, come on. Which say they are Jews. Which say they are Jews. Uh -huh. And are not. They are not. Uh -huh. But are the synagogue of Satan. Christ called them the synagogue of Satan. So the white man is the synagogue of Satan. That is the devil that the Bible speaks of. All right. Um, in, in the last two, three words, tell the people how they can reach you so that they can get indoctrinated with Israel in Christ. Okay, or oh, praises. Uh, anyone who wants to know more about their heritage, that they are the true Israelites, you can visit our Again. website, www.israelunite.org. Or you can find us on Facebook, uh, Facebook uh, IUIC, Israel United in Christ, that's Uganda page. Or you can even contact us on um, 753 You want to do the number again? Uh, the number is 0753-868125. All right, now, thank you very much. You've been a lovely audience. Now, do not contact me. you got the number right there. You have the social media platforms. You've been a lovely audience. Thank you very much for keeping yourselves on U24 every Wednesday, 9.30 p.m., for catching the desk live. Now, I'm grateful from me and the entire U24 management would like to sign out, would like to say good night, good luck, adios, for God and my country. God bless beautiful Uganda. We used to scream black power while heroin was pushed but at the end of the day nothing's in vain IUIC has been given a vision the tents of Judah has risen 
Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.